on my way to Gabby's show. This is what I'm wearing. And I call this my, I don't know what to wear, so I put on jeans and a blazer look. I think one of the coolest things you could do living in New York is having friends in showbiz and go see them perform. Great, all right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. She just said I was pretty. Oh wait, let me see if I can get this. Not drink tonight. So I feel pretty good. It feels good not drinking sometimes. Hi. Are you mad at me? Yeah. He's mad that I won't let him in this area with the other doggies. He's just been so sassy lately. In the arms of is a dog who's sad cause he can't play with his friend cause he's been bad okay, I'm heading to the corner store downstairs because I have to get stuff for breakfast mind you it's not like a Whole Foods or a Target or a big chain it's a small store you have to see these prices. I only, yeah, I only do this when I need like a last minute thing. Other than that, pretty much getting my groceries at Whole Foods or Target. If I was granola, where would I be? Okay, found granola, ready? Bag of granola. This is wild. This one is $8.99. Cheapest one. My cute little pancakes. I'm doing protein pancakes for dinner. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever had Cracker Barrel, but growing up in Ohio, we had them all over the place. I haven't been in so long, but my man was on a trip and he picked me up some syrup because he knows how much I love it. And I don't know if you guys have ever had this but if you haven't, you're missing out. I don't know what they put in it. Apparently it's just maple syrup, but I think maybe they put like crack cocaine in it or something, I don't know. Pretty much when I cook anything, I brown the butter first, just like the way it tastes. It just makes everything like elevated. So brown your butter, people. It, excuse me. Okay, and then the secret to this Cracker Barrel syrup is warming it up in the microwave for a tiny pee. So I did that for like 25 seconds. I'll oh, just look at it. Eee. It is so gloomy outside today. Mother Nature was like, you want September? I will give you September. There are a few things I wanna do though. So there's this new drink that's trending and I think I can get it from Starbucks. I'm not a coffee girl, but I think I can do this because it's peach tea with, get this, a shot of espresso on top. I don't know how it's gonna be, but I'm like, I gotta try that. I gotta try it. And then I wanna go to this place. I've been looking at these candles, right? Um, And I was gonna order one online for research. This is just a stain, by the way. They don't have a store in New York, but they are sold in certain like boutiques in New York. And I really want to try them because they're like classic city scents and they have a bunch of like New York ones. You'll see, I'll show you. But I kind of want to do research for Wits because right now I only sell Wits. Right now I only sell Wits on Amazon. So I kind of just want to see what the vibe is like. Yeah, yeah. It's natural, but it's not. It's makeup, but is it really? And then we'll add a little more of this. In the middle, it's the vibe. Like you've 
had a sucker and it's like stained your lip in the middle. That's the vibe. In case you're wondering. See you at Starbucks. It's so funny, I ordered it and she was like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I said, no, you're probably right. It's probably gross, but I want to try it. I don't get it. Mm. Okay, it's no matcha, but I think it's drinkable. I don't think I like it that much though. It's making my stomach hurt. <gasps> wow. Oh, I can't wait for that. Okay, but when? When? That's a fail. So that's two fails so far. First the drink, which was not very good. And then the store I wanted to go to is closed. I'm gonna go to Boyer Gifts because I know they have them. I should have just went there in the first place, but whatever. Who was gonna tell me that Sarah Beth's closed? And how long ago? <gasps> that's so sad. We got a candle. Oh, got our candle uh, from Boyer Gifts. I got the afternoon in Central Park. I asked the lady who works there how they sell. I think she might be like an owner or something because she's always there. Um, she said this one and the afternoon, no, the brunch in the West Village. Those two sell the best. I really wanted the, like the bodega, no. Why can't I remember these names? The the roasted something. Like how they have like the roasted nut carts. I wanted that one in a mini. But they didn't have a mini. On their website they sell for 38 And then at this store and also at the other store that was closed. Um, they're selling for 45 I have a good idea now. Like if I were to sell mine for wholesale. And recommend their, their retail price. I have a good idea now. Yeah, I think it's a good idea not to sell every single cent that you have if you're gonna sell in boutique stores just because, I mean, everyone wants something like this, the Central Park. The other ones like Midnight in Paris, we're not in Paris, first of all. Second of all, it didn't smell that good. It's just gonna be sitting on the shelf. So I learned some things. And for now, we should end the weekly vlog with one of these manifestation cards that I got for my birthday from Veronica. Be grateful for your challenges. P, we gotta be grateful. It's all of the hard things and apparently negative things, they said, that happen to us, which give us a deep desire to change our lives. Be grateful for them. <laughs> Do you hear him? Be grateful for them because they, they have given you the strength and determination to manifest something different and you will change your life, period. So remember that going into the week, be grateful. Be grateful for the good and the bad. <sighs> Amen. Goodbye.